This is a old special from 1957. I've got on here an old three mouthpiece, um, probably from the 60s. I don't, I don't know, but uh, definitely not period accurate. But uh, yeah, um, compressions are great. It's a, it's a good little horn. It's, I, it's one of my favorite looking old horns from the top. I have a, uh, hold on, that recording right here. And although I like how the recording has the offset. I, I just there, to me when I think of an old horn this is this is it right here on the top and I know that's a dumb thing to say but I don't know this looks like an old horn from the top from the sides though it's kind of a boring horn I mean, I'm glad it has some nickel accents but uh yeah It plays a lot like every other old horn I've played. It's kind of a weird feeling, but uh, like I've got a military right here. It's pretty bright. But it's also light to play. This one's light. Got a recording right here. darker but it's more full this horn is like it's i don't know how to describe it it's not distinct in the way it feels like those other horns are it's just kind of in the middle it's a lot it's like it's just a middle of the line like even i i even have no master i'll play for you real quick the master to me is just a really fat horn you know Master two, but sorry, phones at low power. But uh, yeah. So if you're looking for an old horn and you don't really want to go with an extreme, the special, in my opinion, is the best bet. The master's cheaper, but it's distinctive. You know, it's fat. It's just a. It's a. It's an ambassador. It's a. It's. It's an ambassador. But this. This to me, it was built by Olds and it, it plays like an Olds, but it's just middle of the road. And you can you can bright it up a little bit by playing louder. Oh, let me set up better. I'm sitting down somewhere. But even even when you brighten it up a little bit, it's still I don't know. It's an old horn, but uh, yeah. Consider getting an old special. This is a 1957. I have not played any of the 60s specials. I've not played any of the 40s specials. I've not played any of the 70s specials. I have not played any of the 30s specials, but I have played this horn and I can say that it's pretty nice. The last owner used vegetable oil on the valves, so they were a little horrible to clean up. But now that I've cleaned up a little bit, they're eh, they're not as good as some of the other horns I have. Like, like my ambassador is ridiculous. Sorry, all these old horns look the same. <laughs> when they're uh, in the blankets. Oh, it's just, it's so light. But to me, that doesn't really feel like Olds. This feels like Olds. This feels like Olds. I'm touching the ambassador, or the, uh, I'm all over the place recording. And then, yeah. Isn't this a nice sight to behold? You got a bunch of whole Olds trumpets in your lap. Yeah, I like old trumpets, but uh, yeah. I'll just play a little bit more and then you can call it a day. <laughs>
Thanks for watching.